Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Metro Prime 2 Echoes Blind. And in this episode, we're going to be finding out that my battery needs charging, but I don't care. No. Instead, we are going to be looking around and finding where to go with the grapple beam. I assume it probably wants me to go all the way up towards here, and it's going to force me to use it, isn't it? Now, is it the same thing as before, Zed? Because I've already forgot the damn controls. No, I think I get it now. Yeah, it's the same as in Prime 1, so that's cool. And I can scan it now. This is also part of research, so that's needed. Right, grapple point unit is a viable attach point for the grapple beam. To use the grapple beam, you don't say. I just did that. Use the grapple... This, this goddamn thing, I tell you. You can fire your weapons while attached to a grapple point. Oh, that's it. Of course, I gotta remember that. <laughs> for all those additional things here and there, right. Now, anything in particular to scan? Because oddly enough, even though it's blue, you'd assume that that bit was able to scan. But no, outside of a scan visor, it's pretty much normal, isn't it? Right, and I came across over there, however these are now sealed, and I can make my way outside of here now. That's really cool. I did like though how it kind of foreshadowed towards the boss, because not a lot of things do that. And that's a really nifty way just to let you know that, hey, you're actually near pretty much the boss or so for like the grapple beam and stuff going on. Well, it didn't really specifically tell me about the grapple beam, but you know, it told me about certain things here and there. And wow, look at all that energy I shall gain back. It's a real shame that I didn't really go in there with full-on um, light energy with 150, because that would have probably just dominated that boss like mad. Blimineck, though. Let's just say I did a lot better compared to the other one. Oh my goodness. I don't get how the hell I die on the bloody alpha blog, but I do absolutely fine on the grapple guardian, the main thing in the dark world. So that just, you know, that does not make any sense at all, does it? Right, anyways. Now... I can go by, can't I? Because I can just latch onto this thing, just traverse my way through. Right, now, was there any places that had the grapple beam in order to get by places? I think the cryptid? Oh, actually, no. Yeah, there were, like, a couple of missile expansions in that in order for me to get. So it's probably going to be another one of these episodes where it's just going to be me going back to all these old places that I can now access. Because the more, the merrier, you know? Even though I got 120 missiles, wouldn't hurt to get a couple more. Maybe I should have used a bit, bunch more of those uh, missiles though when fighting that boss, but light appeared to do the trick. I've learnt my mistake when it came to the boost guardian. Hmm. Now. I was expecting those pirates to come out and try to hurt me, but that did not appear to happen. And I'm not arguing with that. I'd very much prefer that personally. And that's the sacrifice to a chamber, that's where I just came from, isn't it? Yes. Indeed. So... Whereabouts could I go that would have all these grapple beam things? Because I feel like one of these over here did, particularly the dungeon. Didn't it? Because I had like that little bit over there. Hmm. I don't know, really, but I'm gonna have a look about. Radio. So we are back towards here, but I feel like in uh, this kind of area... Hello! Would you like to uh, get shot with a missile and then open your mouth? Thank you very much. In this area, I could have got the missile expansion, but it's telling me I need the spider ball, isn't it? But then again, I can use these now. I can use these in order to go by, like so, and probably get towards it like that. Right, so. If I open into this, that's probably going to take me all the way back towards here and stuff. What I mainly want to do then is just go throughout the light world and just try and find certain things there now because. You see, there's that thing over there. Hmm. And where else did I see those grapple things? I saw those somewhere around here. There is obviously a reason for them. So then I can probably go buy it with ease. It's a shame though that I can't get up there like that with this thing. I was really hoping that it would do it. Honestly, I'm not really getting much use out of this damn gravity boost on the water. Like, it definitely makes traversing around underwater a lot easier, because I've just noticed my mobility underwater is a hell of a lot better than before. But even still, you know? I hate how it has, like, the double jump, and then it only does it for, like, a short while, so it's not really, like, useful, if you ask me. Right, so, mm-hmm. Cannot aim with spinner system. Indeed, we can't. That grapples onwards to over there, though, which leads back towards there, but, um... Where can I go now? Well, if I had a good old look around the place, doesn't really appear to be much else to do, because most of it requires the spider ball. So I reckon I'm going to come back here later, 
and just go hunting about, trying to get new things with the grapple beam. That should be fun. Let's go. Okay, this is one of the areas that's been teasing me, because I believe up here somewhere, yes, there is one of those grapple beams that I can probably latch on to, and then get the missile expansion, which has been all this time over here. Right, cool, yeah, so that's one of them. That was nice. Oh. Uh, okay. I actually forgot about this one in particular. I was on my way back here for a reason, but, um, okay. So what's this one for? Oh my goodness, yes, that one over there. Right. Yeah, of course. Now that one makes sense, actually. And I can, also, I can also get that one down there, too. In the other room. Because I'm pretty sure that one required me to have, like, the a gravity boost. At least I didn't know it was called that at the time, anyway. Right. Hello. How are you guys? I don't really want to bother you or anything, so I would just kind of let go by and get that one over there, which is like this. Nice! We're actually not doing too bad, are we? And I'm pretty sure that's most of the missile expansions that I can get on my way back. I like it when they have this kind of design, you know? Where on your way back, going to somewhere, you can get to new areas here and there. So now it's obviously telling me to go somewhere now I got the grapple beam. So I need to probably look about on my map in a safe place, just to be certain. Right, and just go for this calm and relaxing area. I, I will say that through Torvus Bog, it's by far one of the most relaxing areas I've gone through. Because to start with Avagon Wastes, I was like, oh man, this is very dismal and des deserty and all kinds of stuff, really. But Torvus Bog? Nah, not so much. This place has been pretty chill. I don't mind it. Okay. Do I actually need to restock on a couple of dark and stuff? No, I don't, because I got 135 missiles now, so that's different. Cool. Let's make our way to the elevator. Alright. So, where was the thing that I saw had a grapple beam? Oh, I know where. I'm going to go over there for a start because then I can get myself an energy tank. I really can't speak today, goddammit. Okay, yes, it was that area over there with that energy tank, which has been teasing me all this time. Well, guess what? Now, I shall acquire you, hopefully, unless I screw up that jump. That would be like the most embarrassing thing ever, wouldn't it? Cool. So that now makes... How much energy tanks do I have? That is seven. I feel like I'm halfway there, aren't I? Because before there was 14 in total, and it looks like they haven't really changed much beside it. So I've got halfway for all of the energy tanks in Metro Prime 2. Well, that's something, isn't it? But... Where to go to? I'm honestly trying to think whereabouts I saw one of those grapple beams around somewhere. It'll click eventually, just give me like a couple of minutes or so traversing around. Oh, actually I have noticed one thing. In the dark world of Temple Grounds, as far as I'm aware, there's this purple door over there. I never accessed that. So what I might want to do then is currently I am over here, aren't I, yet? So I could just take this portal right here and then just make my way back to there like that. Right, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I remember people telling me, apparently, if I get this, cover it in that, and then I make that as a new scan? Yeah, I thought so. It's, uh, I don't want to scan that. I want to scan this thing over here. Cool. Because then this adds to my research, doesn't it? Nullified beacon, protective field of light energy deactivated. Thank you very much to the people who pointed that out, by the way, because... I completely forgot to do this, or at least, you know, with my awareness and everything. Light beacons, when covered with dark energy, cease to function for a brief time. Light energy can clear the beacon of the dark energy. Okay, but what else is it going to say about these? Light beacons, when covered with dark energy, see, yes. Uh, some dark creatures will fire dark energy at light beacons to hinder or damage their opponents. I haven't actually seen any of them do that so far. Apart from maybe the Amorphous, but I think that was just me mistakenly doing it myself. So, you know, that just might have been different. Okay. Okay, I am here, and what is attacking me right now? It's all of these ions, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> because I just go into there very obliviously, and just get hit, because, you know, well, there's no surprise there, is there, at all? At least that's got rid of all of those. And I've got plenty of light energy, actually, because I have, like, a hundred left. I can remember, when you use the charge one, it only takes out five. So, really, it's nothing to worry about too much. Well, that was a waste, because I've already replenished light inside this thing right here. Right, now, can I just get this from a distance? Uh, probably not worth it, really, because I feel like one of those is probably going to hit that thing over there. 
Right, so apparently I've been told for this, what you need to do is stand like in the center and then do it. Yeah, that actually appears to work a little bit better, really. I feel kind of stupid not realizing that myself. But, oh well. At least now I know. That's for sure. I can never hit these things, though. Again, look, it's probably because of, like, all the motion sensitivity and stuff. Because usually on the GameCube version, if you went by them and you was using the L button to lock on, y y you were pretty much guaranteed a hit. But with the Wii version, it's just, it's ridiculous. Half the time when I lock on to stuff, you know, I don't really think it's that helpful half the time. Because even though you are locked on, you still have to manually aim with this. So it's not even locking on properly. It was sure it like stabilizes the target to make it easier. I have to shoot it with this, don't I? I don't have to shoot it with my light beam at all. Hmm, oh, never mind. Right. So then, is there perhaps going to be a, another upgrade through here or something? Perhaps, maybe. Whoa, what? What? Oh my goodness. I know this. This is the Sky Temple Gateway, isn't it? And it's got an elevator. What? Whoa. Oh my god, so much stuff to scan. Where do I begin? Where do I start? What do I do? Probably that one over there. Oh my god, there's going to be so much lore in this area, isn't there? Hear the words of a coal that you may find a key uh, lost to our cause. Noble J. Stull lost his soul before a fortress in the scorched land. In the scorched land, sorry. Mm-hmm. And that's all it's going to say, really, for the additional thing, is it? Never mind, then. Right. It's quite weird, though, that I'm at 65% scans. Nice. Laura, I'm actually at 69%. Wow. Blimey neck. Hear the words of a call that you may find a key lost to our cause. Loyal St. Jers. He no longer breathes, looking down at the great bridge of a holy fortress. Huh? Hey, these remind me a lot of those statues from Prime 1, where they give you, like, little hints here and there. For whereabouts those keys were? No, actually, they were called Chozo artifacts, weren't they? Wow, it's been a while. So he says he no longer breathes, looking down at the great bridge of a holy fortress. Wow, is this perhaps going to be like the access then to some sort of final boss? I imagine it, because all the other areas have you collect free keys and then go by and get peace to the place. So this one is probably like extra things? I don't know, but either way, it's interesting. Hear the words of a girl. You may find a key. Yep, indeed. Steadfast D. Isil. Who shall deserve you among the trees of holy ground? I I don't know, really, but never mind. What about that over there, though? Uh, the key of Echo has been placed. It's lock forever open. May the light of Eva shine upon our enemies forever. Wait, what? Really? What about this one over here, though? This is another part of the law, though, isn't it? Hear the words of Echo that you may find a key lost to a cause. Fearless M. D. H. E. I don't know how you pronounce that. The one who shall move the pillar of holy ground will see your soulless body. Wow, Dirk. This is very Dirk, and I approve of the Dirkness. Hmm. What's this one going to be about? This is G F M E's key. Right, okay. In the last, what did you see? Was it one of our gates closing, sealing the scorched land from our holy ground? Got it. Now, is there a way to actually access these a lot quicker? I know that by pressing 2, don't I? Alright, so it's in Law, Luminoff Law, Acos Clues, K to 2 Clues, and JFME's Key. Right, yeah, so I gotta remember that in order to go by it, so it's inside Acos Clues. Mm hmm. I am knowing that, just so that then when I am traversing around the place and I come across to a similar area, I can read upon that and then be like, hey, what are they talking about right here? Oh, goodness. Did that decease? Let's see, as the data pack translated the Acor's testament. Data transferred, oh man. Soon, I shall pass the final rest. My key is in place. Through my spiritual link to the others, I know where their bodies lie. I shall... <coughs> I shall... Ne later. I shall leave this knowledge that their last location in the light world can be known. May this knowledge lead to our, our warriors to the sky temple keys, hidden in creatures invisible to naked eyes. The time draws near. Hear the words of Akul. She, the call champion of Aoife, know that my warriors fought and died with uncommon valor. Do not look unkindly upon their failure, for they died to save us all. That is something I'll keep note of. Oh my. I did, was not expecting to discover this at a time like this, <laughs> really, because this is probably a thing I'm going to have to come back to much, 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 much later in the game. Hear the words of Akul, yes, blah, blah, blah. 
Gallant beast stool. She lies deep in a fortress of dry land. I was going to say the same thing when I go to that, isn't it? It's nice that these aren't really too long to read. They're just tiny little hints just for you to refer to. Okay. Brave S. Delai. Beside the marsh of a reigning land, she lay her body forever. Mm-hmm. And the final one. Gentle G. Suk. Or whatever. With a bearer pod, he sleeps in a flooded temple. I'm not really doing these people justice, am I mispronouncing every name, but whatever. That's that's how it would be in reality. With a bearer pod, okay, he sleeps in a flooded temple. Got it. Is that all of them? No, there isn't. There's another one right here. Okay, this one is... Uh, Judicious C. Uh, Urk? Or is that Ark? I, I just don't know. In a small corridor within the depths of a high fortress, he lies silently. Mm-hmm. And I believe that's all of them as far as I'm aware. I might probably look at those off cam. Like, you probably won't catch me in certain episodes looking at these. Because it's just something I'm going to look at when I have the time. And I'm like, okay, what does that one say again? Because it says something about a fortress. Just so then, you know, I don't... Hopefully, I don't have to backtrack. This one, though, went in the place, didn't it? It's locked forever open. May the light of Aoife shine upon our enemies forever. Now, is that probably because I got those free keys and then gave uh, peace to Egomists? Because, oh my god. Please don't tell me I have to go through all of these other areas. I hope they are like located in the same areas that I've been going through and just hidden carefully. <laughs> because realizing I've cleared one area and then finding all these other things makes me think, oh my god. I've only just cleared one main world and then I've got the rest. But I'll find that out along the way. And also I'm running low of energy. Right. There is a portal thing though somewhere, isn't there? Unless that's probably it up there, isn't it? Because I'm headed my way towards it. Yes, it is. Indeed. Hmm. Okay. Well, it was interesting coming to this area of all things. I really could have came back to this area earlier, but I mainly just wanted to get on with the main thing going down to the Hydro Dynamo Station. Good thing too, because that's where I was supposed to go to next. And that's phasing. I want to stay clear of that. Got it. So while I'm making my way all the way back to where I was, I might as well plan where to go to next. Okay, I'm back. So, where to next? Next up, I might as well go back to this part, take the portal from the light world, and then make my way through the purple door there. Because I also just remembered that thing. Because I feel like just exploring through purple doors, while I've also got the missile launcher, or missile seeker, if you will, would be best, because I might find something valuable along the way. Alright, I'm right here and it's literally right next to me. Wow, that was really convenient. Because did I even go in here? Uh, I did, but I stopped, I'm pretty sure. Because I went in there to begin with, I was like, it looks a bit unsafe, so I just chose to go back. Let's see, target has numerous breaches in its armor. Exposure to a toxic organic pathogen led to his demise. Radio. Now, I wonder what happens then if I pop out towards here. Is it going to trigger anything? It doesn't look like it. However, oh man, wait. We got this, haven't we? Because I remember seeing this. Ah, I see. I'm pretty sure I saw that in the light world where I couldn't really get to it, but I'm not sure. Either way, that's rewarding because now I've got even more missiles at my capacity. So that is much, much better. And I've triggered something, haven't I? What have I triggered? What the hell have I triggered? Because it looks like I've triggered a boss or something. And anyway, what about that? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's one of these, it's one of these. I know what to do with these. Go around and now lock onto you and fire my thing, just like that. Because then I can just melt it away like that. These guys are no issue with me anymore. I've learned your ways. Or at least my ways around it anyway. Cool. Hmm. There is literally no uh, extra bits though in order to get the thing, is there? Release the a light beacon because it would be nice to have one at a time like this. Yo, wait, what? I think I remember scanning this, didn't I? Yes, indeed. Possible source of. Oh wait, it's just a source of nourishment, right? Then what would be? Oh no, there's nothing. It's just there. Okay. Because see, that leads to what was it? I think it was a missile expansion. We're talking ages ago. Because it's been a while, isn't it? Right. Hmm. That one's blocked, so I can't really go through there anymore. And there doesn't appear to be anything suspicious. What I'm probably going to do then is stand back. 
get my missiles out. And then, okay, maybe use two? I don't know what happened to my downwards arrow button right there, but oh well. And then use all those at the same time. Just like that. There we go. That was much, much better, wasn't it? Now, is that going to stay blue from now on? Hopefully it is. Yes, it is. Cool, so I don't have to worry about my missiles going bad then. What I should do then, just to be on the safe side, is end the episode off here and then replenish half of my health into here because, once again, I've lost a bit of my energy going outside into the dark world and stuff. But, you know what? Never mind. It gives me time to replenish my health. So, in the next episode of Metroid Prime 2 Cast Blind, we will be venturing out into that blue door and seeing whereabouts it takes me. And also, I've been thinking as well, what I probably need to do is go to... I think it was this one, wasn't it? The Phasen Pit? Because I went through here, and saw there was a grapple beam in order to go by that. And I think that's where it's probably going to tell me to go to next, isn't it? It's so much more rewarding now, since I've turned off the hints, because it's all about literally just looking around and things myself. Some people don't like that kind of style, but I do. Probably because I've played a lot of Super Metroid. But anyway, yeah, I'm bragging on as per usual. Take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you like before the next one.